to happen there, isn't it? Uh, Liesl, um thanks for speaking with Central Coast Newspapers. Congratulations. Um, what is your analysis of the uh, of the, the big win? Yeah, it was a great win across New South Wales. I mean, the coast, we've locked it in there and fingers and toes, we get sand boarding over the line. But no, I'm thrilled, privileged every single day. Like, I absolutely love my job, so I'm glad to be back and straight to work. Uh, so as far as your priorities, you've talked um, about um, about health and so on. One thing that's, um, that happened on... Um, election night is the train stopped all across Sydney and the central coast. <laughs> will, will that be something you'll be t looking at? Uh, the trains are super important to the people of the coast so getting the train so we've got a reliable train service to Sydney. Labor's also committed to, to putting in more fast trains to Sydney, not the, the fast train but more express trains so definitely making sure that we get the trains on time. There's a lot of antiquated as we know resources and f within that framework so we've got to go and see what's been neglected over the time to see what we need to update immediately. And uh, as member for Gosford, do you think Gosford is uh, looking for a, a, a rosier future? It's sort of um, creaking a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, we've seen Gosford, we've seen lots of promises and lots of glossy brochures from the Liberal government. I'm not going to be doing glossy brochures. We've already committed to the Gosford waterfront investigation to see what can happen there. There's a university happening down the road and then resourcing our health facility, which is an amazing world first health facility to make sure that we've got the resources we need, but also that we are supporting young people and older people through and into the health profession and they choose to stay here on the coast is essentially important. And uh, are, you, um, are you happy the way that council is being administered at the moment? Council is a huge challenge. I mean, the privatisation of the Woi Woi car park on the early voting, people let me know really loud and clear that that's not an option for this council. So I'll be going hard against this administrator. It's not exceptional. It's not exceptional. <laughs> it's not acceptable that our assets continue to be sold from under our feet, but at the same time, I think we've got another big blow coming. Council finances, they blame the councillors, but it sounds like council finances are looking for another big fall. So it's a very disappointing time for the people of this central coast that forced amalgamation has not done us any favours at all, and picking up the pieces in the future will be challenging. Now, are you also committed to no overdevelopment down on the uh, the Woi Woi Peninsula or the peninsula over there? How, how does that how does that work? I'll be working very closely with the Peninsula Residents Association and also with the six cities about what kind of development is good for our community. So I think the Peninsula Residents Association and people on the peninsula have watched the council bulldoze through all of their concerns about what's going on there. So I think in government you can have a different conversation about planning and what's acceptable in our community. I know we need absolutely more 